right, good morning everyone, welcome back. It is Friday morning, very early Friday morning, and tried for sunrise this morning, but unfortunately we woke up and it was just about pouring rain. Still decided to get on the road and just see what we could see. And kinda, as you would expect with rain, there's a lot of cloud and fog and mist up in the mountains, but I've already got a few shots of that this week. And as we were driving this road, there are just, there are a couple good viewpoints, but nothing that really just like grabbed my attention and felt like it needed to be shot. And so I was kind of feeling a little bummed out that, you know, the clouds and the rain made for no like sunrise light. And then the fog that I, and the mountains that I was seeing, like not that they didn't look cool, it still looks really good, but I didn't feel like it was a shot that I hadn't already gotten this week. And so I was kind of like going like, all right, well, you know, I don't want to just not shoot anything. And then we're driving out, thinking about going and looking other places and past this little corner with this, and you can see the car there, we're right on the side of the road and a beautiful little view down to the river. And the water here is so clean flowing out of these rivers, like so clear. And it's got this beautiful turquoise hue to it. So I decided, you know what? There's a good little outcropping of rock over there. Initially I was shooting from right over here, kind of looking up that way. And I definitely got a few shots, a few compositions that I think look good and will work. Um, but then I saw this tree across the bank here and kind of like right here, and then had this nice area of unreflected sky. I am using a polarizer, which is really bringing out the color in the water. Um, but because of the low, you know, from down there where I was trying to shoot earlier, initially, um, because of the angle, it was, I couldn't get quite all of the glare off the water. And this is a shot that definitely works best with all the glare off the water. So now I've just been trying different exposure lengths on this tree over here. Um, this one is 25 seconds. And that looks, I mean, it looks really cool. I've done everywhere from about five seconds up to 25 seconds. Now I'm gonna go the other way though. Open my aperture up a bit. To like, I was I was just at 20, f22. Now I'm down to f8, and I'm gonna f7.1 should be fine. So that'll bring us back to about two second exposure. So try that. See how that was, and that just leaves a little more structure in the water, but. I mean, you know, the colors are so cool. I'm kind of just curious to see what both look like, you know, going for a longer exposure, smooths the water out a bit more so you can't see the rocks quite as well, but it kind of adds this different texture, this really smooth texture to the water. Uh, speeding it up kind of catches the ripples a little bit more and the stuff floating down uh, and lets the rocks underneath the water come through a little bit more. That's kind of what I'm looking at right now. And then down there, I think I'm gonna bump my ISO up just a bit so that I can get a little bit faster with shutter speed. Actually, you know what, if I check, that should be good. So you know what, I'm gonna drop the aperture even more. I'm gonna go just wide open, 2.8, bring my ISO back down a bit, shorten my exposure. I'm just under, you uh, truly exposed, just under, exposed just to the left, just to maintain the richness of the water. And that was about a sixth of a second. And yeah, definitely can see a little bit more, but nice. All right, yeah, so we'll see how those came out. I definitely think I got a few good shots there. I mean, there's still cool fog rolling around the mountains. I think as we drive out of here and, and continue on the road, um, I'll definitely try to look for somewhere to maybe set up a time lapse of the fog in the mountains, because that's not something I've shot really yet. I've gotten shots of the fog in the mountains, but uh, not really any time lapse, no time lapse yet. So maybe that's the next shot I'll look for. So yeah, stay tuned and uh, I'm gonna, we'll try to find a time lapse shot.
the morning shooting is just about done. We drove all the way from Sequim today, or Sequim, and like I was saying earlier, I wanted to photograph sunrise on some of the mountain peaks near Brennan, and unfortunately it was raining and cloudy, so we just kind of made it, you know, I just kind of found some shots along the river along the way and actually got some really good ones that I'm happy with. Then with the fog and the clouds, we remembered Lake Cushman was right on our way back to Seattle. So we figured, well, you know, if we get down there in good time, maybe there's still some clouds and fog and all that rolling around the mountaintops. It'd be cool to get a time lapse of that. It'd like be perfect for what I'm thinking of, what the kind of shot I was thinking of. And we got here and it's definitely beautiful. And we found some good viewpoints that we somehow missed the last time we came out here a couple days ago and there was one that was just called viewpoint and it had a great viewpoint over the lake and the mountains and that's where i shot the time lapse and i think that's going to come out really cool uh, it's just a static time lapse kind of zoomed in down the valley on the mountain yeah i think that shot's going to come out looking really cool especially as a time lapse and then uh we kind of kept exploring around because there's another really big mountain to the to when we were looking at the mountains to the right and uh it still had some clouds and fog kind of rolling around it uh, but the viewpoint area that I got the first time lapse at didn't really have a good view to that mountain it was kind of all you know half blocked by trees and stuff but we'll be back in Tacoma probably early afternoon and I think our plan is to just kind of get organized and repacked and then tonight we're going to try for another Mount Rainier shoot and look for a little bit different of a composition this time, maybe a little further away that just kind of shows the whole scale of the mountain as the sun goes down. So hopefully tonight's sunset works out um, a little better than last night's. So yeah, all right, we will, uh, we'll, we'll keep you updated. The sunset shoot would end up not working out and our time in the Pacific Northwest had come to a close. From here, my girlfriend would head back to Michigan to teach, and I will fly to Utah for another week of landscape photography. But not before getting a stunning view of Mount Rainier on the flight out.